so uh, when you had, you know, your big uh, lunch with Joss, which has been much talked about, and he came up with this idea on the spot, what did you think when he had this great idea for basically you get to play all these characters at once? Um, what did I think? I thought, yes, he bought it. He, he did it. He was my plan A, B, and C for, you know, a show that I was going to go into with Fox. And so I was, it took four hours, but um, once we, you know, clenched it, it was, it was good news. It was good times. And Tama, what's it like? You know, Liza goes way back with Joss. What's it like for you to sort of enter in this world with the two of them? I'm like the new kid at school. <laughs> or at least I was in the pilot. Joss and Liza would be the joking cool table around. Every day. Well, that's just, I, I eventually got invited to the cool table. But at first, I was kind of like, you know, the guy in the background, like. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been good. They've been awesome. And what's it like for you? You know, I was thinking you've been working with Joss for about 10 years now at this point mm -hmm. almost. Do you just have an amazing shorthand on set together? Yeah, we do. I mean, he's like, he's like a brother and like a, you know, he's kind of my hero, even though I won't tell him that when we're together because we'll get a big head. And, but, you know, we, we just have like such a, a cool relationship and, and a long one and that's rare sort of in this business. And, and um, I just trust him like so deeply and you know there are a few people that I would like follow anywhere and and I would I would follow that man anywhere and <laughs> that's really special and uh and then I think the show and what we've what we've done is is close to and 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 beyond like what we ever you know anticipated at that first at that first lunch so it's it's really exciting you talk about, I was going to ask about the dynamic between your characters, which is a funny question since on the only episode I've seen, you haven't met yet, so there is no dynamic. Oh, we meet. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. We meet, and uh, yeah, there's, we, have good, we have some good rocking scenes together. Is, uh, I mean, I guess you can't say too much about what happens, but uh, you know, what does he make of her? He's investigating this you know, mythical dollhouse, and uh, does well, he know she's a part of it? He starts getting clues about her, uh, you know, very soon in, in the beginning of the series and there's something more than there's an incredibly interactive girl and I have to save her. Damsel in distress, there's more to it than that. There's there's some sort of connection. Um, I'm not quite sure what it is yet but there's something that drives and motivates Paul even more once he sees her and once he starts getting more clues and especially once he actually interacts with her and meets her the first time. I imagine it's interesting because of course your character I would assume won't remember meeting him as, as future episodes go on. So uh, is there something you do to sort of maintain that there is a connection there even if it's not, you know, even if she doesn't literally remember him week to week? Yeah, I mean, I think that, that there's just, there's like an intense connection when the first time that we do meet and then all of the um, scenes that, that come after that. And, um, some of my favorite characters have been the ones that are sort of where we interact and, and each time we get together it's like I'm on mission, I'm on mission, I'm on mission but then there's like this thing and there's this like really magnetic you know element in our in our relationship that that always sort of like sets Echo off a little bit and that's kind of that's kind of special. And it seems like the great thing about this show is that it can be a different genre pretty much every week. Can you talk at all about you know episodes to come and sort of some of the dynamics you get to play out in them? There's so many, yeah. We, um, I mean, everything from, you know, outside Adventure 16, you know, on crack, like just crazy. The Target episode is the second episode after the pilot, and it's it's so different from the first, but it's like it's just super blown out and and fast paced and and adventure action. And then you have um, an episode where I'm I have cameras implanted into my eyes, and they send me into a cult as a blind woman. To sort of like get information and, and you know, but I believe I'm just this like religious fanatic young woman, and um, I mean, chases and fights and and you know, it's both like physically and emotionally such an adrenaline, um, such an adrenaline rush. Eliza and I have show. some great fight scenes together. Fighting yeah. each other or fighting other people? Maybe. Yeah, we get a little fighting. <laughs> we get a little, I get yeah. my ass kicked, but I'm not supposed to. Fight <laughs> like that. a six-page like. Tomo Eliza Muay Thai fight scene Crazy came down the came down the, scene. the pipes and we were like right fighting on. in the kitchen. <laughs> it's awesome. It was a lot of fun. What kind of training did you have to do for that? What'd you do? Uh, I didn't really do anything. I just showed up. I just showed up. Got beaten up. <laughs> I showed up and got beaten up. Exactly. 
and yeah. it was easy. Mm -hmm. We had some great. I mean, there's some people they've got on the show. Really. He needs a stunt double. I need a stunt He's doubles. new in the I'm whole like, thing. I'm like, oh, he's scratching myself. You have two stunt man. doubles, I think. Yeah. What? Yeah. For my stunt double, I don't have. He has two. Right. <laughs> That's how bad she's beating me up. I'm like, let's just get get the next guy in here. Someone bigger. Mm -hmm. Joss is known for creating these great, really lovable characters and then putting them through hell. Uh, has that uh, progressed as the season's gone on for either of your characters? I asked for every single bit of it, so, and yeah, he does. And he, um, the kind of most random thing is he's like, you know, just recently he's like, I can like throw you off a building, I can run you over in a car, I can like it's put you in a fight scene with like six big dudes and the one time you get out uncomfortable and you're out of your comfort zone is when I put your hair up and I put you in this updo like in a bun he's like what is wrong with you he's like that's so that's so bizarre but I'm gonna take you out of your comfort zone as much as I possibly can and it's kind of interesting because I don't know anyone that's ever figured out that little key to me but um yeah he's putting me in some updos that are rocking my world <laughs> Um, and are we going to find out, you know, we've, we've heard some interesting things about your character in the first episode to get a little insight into the kind of guy he is. As much as a mystery Echo is in her backstory, is there also some more we're going to discover about Paul and what makes him tick and what made him the man he is? Yeah, but, you know, there's a lot of questions, too. It's not answered right away, too. Like, I mean, this, Paul's a really interesting character. He's incredibly driven. Uh, he's self-righteous. He's alienated himself from a lot of the rest of like the Bureau, everybody else. He doesn't really have any fan, friends at the Bureau, and um, he doesn't really have any friends outside of work either. I mean, it's, I think it's, I think you find out right away he's recently been divorced, but he's very much a lone wolf. And uh, why he's like that, and why he chooses to work by himself, um, you know, eventually we'll, we'll, uh, we'll explore, but it doesn't come out right away. And I think that's one of the most compelling things about his character. Uh, most new shows get developed and they sort of quietly get developed and then come to the air, but because of Joss's following, every move with this show gets, you know, talked about and analyzed by the fans on the internet. Is that daunting for you or is it just sort of a testament to you know, the following Joss has and that people care so much about his product? I'd go with testament to the following that he has and I think, you know, it's flattering and for every negative comment, there's like 10,000, you know, positive and excited, excited people and fans and so that's part of the it's part of the game any press is good press it's all speculation at this point <laughs> he says <Everybody>. that now <laughs> right oh geez i mean everybody you know everyone's speculating about what's going on with it i gotta tell you man it's uh it feels it feels right everything's uh, sort of falling into place and i think we found uh the rhythm of the show and you know every show goes through this in the beginning the beginning of the season it's you know Still trying to find your pace. The actors are trying to find the characters. The writers are still working it out. You know, it's uh, it's good though. Everything's everything's feeling right. I like where we are. Yeah, we're yeah. we're in the middle of episode ten right ten. now, and we've got a couple more, and we've been all over the place and back, and mm -hmm. there's some there's some deep deep stuff going on. And lastly, I've been to the set of your show, and it's one of the most amazing sets I've ever seen. I'm just curious what your reaction was when you first walked on that set. <laughs> um, I was with Joss, and when I took him to lunch for the infamous four-hour lunch, he he didn't he didn't go for like, hey, take me to Denny's. He was like, take me to Ivy by the Shore. So I like took him to some fancy schmancy restaurant where he had a Gouda pizza. And um, the first day we walked on <laughs> on the set, it was like you know the doors opened and it was all lit up. And he turned to me and he was like, now we're all eating the Gouda pizza. <laughs> I, I like, love it. Yeah, bro. So it's you know. The Gouda pizza is the Gouda dream. I saw it when we were shooting the uh, the original pilot, and uh, I saw it once. And the only reason I saw it was because we were uh, we were doing a photo shoot there, and uh, I haven't seen it since. <laughs> <laughs> Hope we do eventually get to shoot on that set. Your yeah. apartment's right next door, no? I uh, know it is, but I won't I won't go on that stage. I'm gonna wait mm -hmm. wait till my character discovers it. It'll be fun. He's he's method like that. Right. It's, it's impressive. <laughs> Meanwhile, the crew members like sleep in the pods at lunch. They like go it. in and get massages. I'm jealous because like... people hang out there. They're like working out in the gym and stuff. I know. It's good. It's good times. It's a it's a nice set for sure. It's the nicest set I've been on for sure.